Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alas, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video and let me know what you think. Stormy, what is wrong with you? And I'm not even laughing because this isn't a laughing matter. But from what I hear, and shout out to Brown Skin Girl, what I hear is that you have taken out another mortgage on your house or some type of loan in your house. And if you don't pay, if you miss these payments, they're going to take your house. Well, of course, naturally with any loan, if you don't, um, any mortgage, if you don't pay up, they're going to take your house. But Stormy, why would you do that to yourself? You already indebted so many loans, so many liens. You didn't have so uh, you didn't have so many chances and you just continue to put yourself in debt and don't want to pay nobody why is that stormy i don't understand and i'm not laughing because it's really sad that you as a black woman a black entrepreneur it's really sad because you would you would think that you would be someone that people can actually look up to get the real business advice the inside information where you can help grow other people's business but when people look at you and the way you move and the way you do business who would want to take your advice for anything you portray yourself on the show as some type of um, uncouth, unhinged person. But yet you want to um, wave around sage talking about cleansing the air of negativity. But you and your mom are the biggest negative people that has graced this show. Y'all can't even give a reason to why y'all don't like Melody. Y'all came in the door. Well, before the show, before this season even aired, y'all were um, talking about her online. And it spilled over into the season, which we didn't want it to. You and your mama have made a spectacle of yourself. And I know Carlos got to be pulling out every gray hair in that beard, kicking himself for allowing you and your mama to come on this show. He thought that y'all were, he thought you were the real deal. You had the house, you had the family, you had everything. That's why I was always taught, don't, don't try to, judge people from looking from the outside because you never know and you stormy have made that to become true because looking at you from the way you first came on where you were supposed to be this business mogul and all this businesses knowledgeable look at you now we're only 11 11 episodes in of you being a full-time cast member. And here you go. These people that dug up your information faster than the Mike Tyson fight. Everything is coming out on you. And here you go yet again. And getting a new loan on your house. Not where you lay your head, Stormy. Give them people that money back and say, no, I mean, of course, now you owe with interest, but if you haven't spent any of it, just don't even cast a check. Just send it right back. 
and get them the interest later or whatever you owe. But all you got to do is get yourself, get your team in that warehouse and pack them orders and send them out. Just correct your behavior. You have, from what I hear, I don't know, but from what I hear, you have a good product, but because the way you do business, a lot of us will never get a chance to know because you messed that up. Maybe you should have stayed a friend of the show because at least we only, I mean, we only knew of you. We wasn't, we were curious about your business, but not, you know, we wasn't too curious about your personal life. You made people go after you for your personal life. If you had stuck to business, people would have stuck to business. You the one came like you was about that life and you was ready for it all. You wanted the glitz, the glam, the fame, the audience. You tried to be something that you're not. And then you wanted to take it all back. It minus the audience and the fame. Stormy, you went out. You, you going out bad. You, you really, really going out sad. And I hope, I hope that you get it together because it seems like you liking this mess. You came on the show and you doing everything but business. Carlos gave us this um, stuff, this talk about, oh, it's going to be black excellence. Um, You're going to see Stormy family. Nobody wants to see that. That rehearsed scene that you did. Oh, we're going to see her have a business meeting. That was a huddle that you broke down and cried. I'm like, what is this mess he giving us? And y'all all so proud. Acting like you didn't did something. Stormy, get them people that money back. And I wonder, my st my uh, question is, Stormy, I wonder, did you take that loan out so you can have an over-the-top party? Because you heard that Melody um, party was everything. I'm just asking. Because why now, Stormy? Why, why you need a loan now? I'm just asking, don't don't try to compete with other people. Don't don't try to watch people pockets. Give them people their money back. Because that party is only for one night. You need your house to live in. I hope you didn't take this loan out to plan this party so it could be all over the top in the talk of the town. Because own is only gonna pay you what they pay you. They're not giving you the money back to cover the cost of that loan. That's just my opinion now. But you need to get them people that money back because that was a bad business deal. And I'm just stating my opinion, talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.